Hello, my name's John O'Ellison. I'm a product designer, so I use SolidWorks a lot. And I also teach courses in how to use SolidWorks. And a lot of my students get a sketch error when they're trying to make Revolve features like Revolve Boss Base or Revolve Cuts. The error that pops up says, the sketch is open, self-intersecting or intersects the centerline. So in this video, we're going to look at how you can fix this. The example that we're using is a pencil. It's just a normal pencil and we're going to look at this part. It's the metal ring that holds on the rubber eraser. This part is called the ferrule. In this model, we've created this ferrule using a revolve. And you can see here it is in the design tree. If I edit the feature, we can see that it's just made up of a sketch that's revolved around a center line or an axis. And if I hide the other bodies in the model, you can see it a bit more easily. If I delete the revolve feature, we can see the sketch that's underneath it. So it's just a fully enclosed profile. And what the revolve feature does is takes this profile and spins it or revolves it around an axis or a center line. So to create it, all we do is go to Revolve Boss Base, which is on the Features tab of the Command Manager. And then we just select the axis of revolution. So it's this center line. And then the feature is created, like so. So as we mentioned, all it does is take a closed profile and revolves it around an axis. But imagine if you try to create this and you get that dreaded error, the sketch is open, self-intersecting or intersects the center line. So to demonstrate the problem, we're going to look at another sketch. So I'm going to exit that initial ferrule sketch, and then I'm going to drag down and edit this next sketch. So you can see at first glance, it looks pretty much the same as that first sketch. So let's try and carry out that process again. So I go to the Features tab, and then choose Revolve Boss Base. And then this time when I select the axis, straight away we don't get any preview. And this time when I try to create the feature, we get that error. The sketch is open, self-intersecting or intersects the center line. Now, before we go any further, I just want to mention that in SolidWorks, the error messages are generally really useful. I know it can be very tempting just to ignore them and not read them properly, but often if you do read them, they'll tell you exactly what the problem is. You've just got to understand what they're trying to tell you. So it's telling us that it could be one of three problems. The sketch is open, self-intersects or intersects the centerline. We're going to look at these in more detail now, but firstly, let's just have a quick overview of these three items. So number one, the sketch is open. So check you have a single closed profile with no gaps in it. Number two, the sketch is self-intersecting. This means that the sketch can't have any lines that are overlapping or any single lines that go off on their own or any lines drawn on top of each other. And then number three, the sketch intersects the center line. This means that you can't have a profile that crosses the center line, so it doesn't cut through itself when it tries to revolve. So now we'll look at these three problems in more detail. Firstly, let's look at this one, the sketch is open. This means that the sketch isn't a fully closed profile. And by that, we mean that it should have one single line going all the way around the outside with no gaps or breaks. But if we look at this, it doesn't actually look like there are any gaps. It looks like it's a closed profile. But actually, if we zoom in a bit, we can see we've got a small gap up here in the corner. So we don't have a fully closed profile. So if we now close that gap just by dragging those two lines together, and then we try and create our revolve feature, you can see now that we do get the yellow preview. So this feature will work correctly. Now I'm just going to press Ctrl Z to undo dragging those two lines together. So we've got the gap again. And now if we zoom out, you can see from this kind of view, it's really hard to see if there's a gap there. And this is actually quite a simple sketch, really. Imagine if you had a really complex sketch or a really small gap, it might be really difficult to find them. So a good way to check whether you have any gaps is to go to Extruded Boss Base on the Feature tab, and then just try and extrude that profile. And you might need to click in Selected Contours down at the bottom here, and just try and select that profile. And if you can't select it, it means that it's not a closed profile, so there must be a gap in there somewhere. So now we know there's a gap, but we can't see where it is. How can we actually find it? A good way to do this is just right click on any line in your profile, any line, and press Select Chain. 
and that will select all of the lines and entities connected to that first line that you selected. So this doesn't really help us straight away because we know there's a little gap up here in the corner, but it's selected everything connected all the way around here. But what you can do now is just click off that and then select any other line, so for example this one, and press delete. And then you can right click again and press select chain again. So now you see we've only selected this bit on the right hand side. We haven't selected this bit in the top corner. So that indicates that there's a gap up here in the top right corner because this left hand section isn't connected to the right hand section. So then you can press Ctrl Z, undo to add that line back in. And if we zoom in, we can see there's a gap up there where we thought it was. So we can then close that gap and then do our revolved boss base. Just one more thing to note, if you have a construction line or a center line anywhere in your profile, that doesn't count as a solid line for the profile. So it basically counts as a gap. So if I make this one a construction line and now try and revolve, again we get the error. So make sure you have solid lines all the way around the outside of your profile. It can actually be quite hard to see construction lines because they look just like a solid line when you zoomed out far enough. But if you look at it closely, you can see that top one is actually slightly thinner. And then as we zoom in, you can see these gaps start to appear in the line. So that shows it's a construction line. So if you do have any construction lines, you can just click on them and then click over here on the left and uncheck the box that says for construction. And now that we have a solid line all the way around the outside, we can make our revolve boss base again. So that covers the first part of the error message, the sketch is open. So let's exit that sketch and then we'll have a look at the second part of the error message in this second sketch. So I'm going to edit the sketch again. And again, it looks pretty similar. The sketch is almost exactly the same. And we can't immediately see any obvious problems there. This time also if we try and do an extruded boss base and we select within that profile, you can see it is actually a closed profile because we can extrude that section. So the sketch isn't open, but if we try and revolve it, we still get the same error. So it must be one of these other problems. So the problem here is the second part of the message, the sketch is self-intersecting. And if we zoom in, we've actually got this single line that goes off, it's not connected to anything on one end. So SolidWorks knows it can maybe revolve this closed profile, but it doesn't know what to do with this single line. So the whole feature will fail. So to fix this, all you need to do is just delete this extra line. So make sure you've got no lines just going off on their own. It can be easy sometimes to add them in by mistake. Another aspect of self-intersecting is also lines that cross over each other. So make sure you don't have any lines that cross over. You've just got one single line going around the outside of your profile. So let's exit this sketch and we'll have a look at the third part of the error. The sketch intersects the center line. So I'm going to edit this third sketch. And we can see straight away with this one, the problem's a bit more obvious. The sketch shouldn't intersect the center line. So that just means that the profile shouldn't cross over the center line like this. If I delete this dimension and then just drag it to the center line and then try and do the revolve, you see it works correctly. So you can actually go all the way up to the center line as long as you don't cross over it. And you can see now that the preview for the feature works correctly. You should also note that this doesn't mean that you can't have profiles on both sides of the center line, like this for example. In general, it's good practice to try and keep your entire profile on one side of the center line, but there might be cases when you need it on both sides, and this will work as long as you don't actually cross the center line anywhere. So that's the third part of the error message. And those first three examples will cover the vast majority of the times you get this error. But what happens if you can't see any of those problems that we just talked about? Let's have a look at this final sketch. So you can see it looks all correct. We can't see any lines going off on their own. It doesn't intersect the center line. And if we try and do an extruded boss base, we can actually extrude it. So it is a closed profile and there aren't any gaps there. So if you get an error like this, the problem is probably that you've got two lines drawn in the same place. So you've got one line drawn on top of another one. But obviously if they're in the same place, you can't actually see the one at the back, so you don't know where it is. A way you can find these problem areas is again, right click on any of the lines and press select chain again. And you can see that top line 
hasn't been selected. If we zoom in, it looks like it is connected, so it should have been selected. So that indicates there's probably two lines there. You can see it looks exactly the same, but if I left click on it and then press delete, it looks like nothing has happened. That's because we've deleted one of the two lines. So now if I right click and press select chain, you can see we select that entire chain. So it was actually selected before, it was just covered over by that second line. And now if I do a revolved boss base, you can see it works correctly. So if it looks like nothing's wrong, try right clicking on a line and pressing select chain. And if any areas aren't selected, try deleting that extra line. So hopefully this pretty in-depth video solves your problem. So a quickly recap, if you get this error, the sketch is open, self-intersecting or intersects the center line. Just go through your profile bit by bit. First, check that you've got a completely closed sketch all the way around with no gaps. And you can check this also by doing an extruded boss base. You can also use the select chain option to try and find any gaps. And you should also remember that center lines or construction lines count as gaps. So you need solid lines all the way around the outside of your profile. Next, check that the sketch isn't self-intersecting. So this means there's no overlapping lines, no lines just going off on their own, not connected to anything, and also no lines on top of each other. And again, you can use select chain to try and find any lines where there's two in the same place. And then finally, check that it doesn't intersect the center line or cross over the center line. So hopefully by going through that methodically, you'll be able to find your problem and fix the error. I hope that this has been a useful video. If you'd like to learn more about SOLIDWORKS, I've got an intensive 12 hour SOLIDWORKS course that takes students from being complete beginners all the way up to confidently using SOLIDWORKS. And it uses real world examples to help you remember all of the different tools and options. I've also got some more specialist courses dealing in different areas of SOLIDWORKS and they're all listed in the description below. So please consider checking those out. Thanks for watching and happy modeling.